Is the best burger that Sam the Cooking Guy ever made any good? Let's find out. So I'm assuming that most of my viewers know who Sam the Cooking Guy is. For those of you who don't, he lives out here in San Diego. He had a cooking show on a local cable network out here called Sam the Cooking Guy. And now he has a very successful YouTube channel called Sam the Cooking Guy. And he also owns a couple restaurants out here. He has made a couple, actually he's up to three videos now, um, proclaiming the best burger he's ever made. And I get it, I get that. I am making his second best burger, the, the one that came out as number two. Number three came out a few months ago, and I kind of consider that more of a breakfast burger. So I'm still saying that as far as burgers go, that version two is his best burger. So I did some work on this. It was actually a little bit more work than I thought I'd have to do to kind of decode this burger, and we're gonna make it together. Let's start out by slicing some onions. So I have here an onion that's been peeled, sliced from top to bottom, from stem to root. And we're just gonna do a basic kind of a julienne. So right over here, I have a hot pan. Get those onions in the pan. I'm going to add a little avocado oil. And Sam uses a brand called Chosen which is a local San Diego brand, so good on Sam. So we wanna break down the onions, get them nice and translucent and ultimately caramelized. So while the onions are cooking, let's go ahead and make the sauce. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take this dill pickle here and just sort of plank it out. I'm gonna take these planks, slice them down the middle. Kind of mince these to a nice chop. Pickles are in the bowl. Now we're going to add some Japanese mayo. This is Kewpie brand, for those of you who want to know. And you can buy this at Asian markets or online. And I'm going to add probably, I don't know, about a quarter of a cup. A tablespoon of just regular old ketchup. Now this next ingredient is actually where I got a little bit tangled up. It's, a, it's an important part of this recipe and they only show the backs of bottles on their channel. They didn't mention this brand anywhere in the description. They didn't pin it down in the comments. So I was having to go by the shape of the bottle, the color of the lid, and I could see that the, I'll just cover it. The writing was just, you know, a little red. The bottle looked familiar to me, but again, Basically, I was combing the internet for a couple hours trying to find this brand, then all of a sudden it clicked. And only because I've been to this place a bunch of times, it's in LA, it's where the French dip sandwich was invented, it's called Philippe the Original, that's where I knew this bottle from, because I've I bought it before. So Philippe Original, um, it's online, you can, the only place you can buy it is their store, that's it, you can't buy it on Amazon. and if you're interested, I did a video on Ballistic Barbecue where I was recreating their French dip, and I have a recipe on how to make this stuff on a pretty decent uh, copycat recipe for the sauce. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of this. All right, mix this up. And there we go. This is a really good sauce. Now the next thing we're gonna do is grind the meat. So I'm using the coarse grind for this blend, which is my favorite. And Sam also uses one of my all-time favorite blends of meats, beef, for this particular grind. I have here short rib, brisket, and sirloin. I've already diced this up, obviously. And a little trivia, this is the blend that Shake Shack uses, the same blend of three meats, and, and it's, it's a great blend. Get the grinder going. Now one thing I like to do when I'm grinding different types of meat is I'll put the three different types in or the two different types, whatever, in at once. And that kind of helps incorporate everything together. I'm 
grind is done, the first part, I'm going to just sort of loosely kind of toss the meat together just to make sure that it's mixed up well. Now we're going to do a double grind. So I have a pretty big meat grinder here, so I, I can just throw the meat into the hopper, then kind of push it down the, the gullet, so to speak. All right, and there we are. Looks like a good blend. Let's make a burger. So Sam portions the meat out in four ounce meatballs, which in my opinion is the perfect portion for a smash burger. Let's get the meat scale going. And that is a four ounce ball of meat, actually 4.2. Four point four. There we go. I have the griddle preheated to about a medium high. The far burner is on just medium, and I'm basically finishing the onions off in the skillet on on the flat top. All right, we'll get those meatballs down. Sam smashes his burgers with a spatulas, which is a great technique. I use it actually. I've used it in a lot of videos. I'm using my smasher. I want this to be a really nice, perfectly round burger patty. Smash it down. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Brioche bun, butter it. I actually think that Sam does a lot of shopping where I shop. The buns he uses in his burgers, they look almost identical to the place where I get mine. Which is also where I bought that chosen avocado oil. A little salt, fresh ground pepper, and the onions I have a tablespoon of butter. This, this is unsalted butter, so I'm going to season the onions here with some salt and pepper. I don't want any crazy amounts of salt to be in here. I just want to be able to control the amount of salt. A little salt. A little pepper, a little stir. That's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Nice. All right now we're going to scrape these guys off the flat top. Sam knows, Sam knows American cheese. While that cheese is melting, we're going to spoon on the sauce. We're going to be generous with it. Nice big chunks of pickle. Cheese is looking great. I like to get it up in an angle. So we have triangles. Beautiful. Top it with some onions. Oh, look at those onions. Crown this beauty. And there we have it. Sam the Cooking Guy's best burger version two. And again, looking at that last one, which looked good, this one, as a burger guy, looking at this, it's very well composed. I like this one. This is a burger. So I guess if I'm actually going to give you my opinion on how good Sam Cooking Guy's best burger 
version two is. I'm gonna need to try it, darn it. Look at that. It looks good. This is a good looking burger. I'll give you that, Sam. Those caramelized onions, those thin smashed patties, the brioche bun. Again, I say this all the time. Toast those buns, you'll get that nice toasty goodness, but it also makes the buns twice as soft as they were before. Took them out of the package or whatever. So from beginning to end, I, I always start my critique when I'm bringing it up <laughs> to my face to take a bite. And, you know, the smells and what it's looking like. I, I'm smelling the caramelized onion. I'm smelling a lot of butter. I'm getting a little bit of a horseradish, horseradish kind of a smell from the sauce. And it looks really good. I mean, it just has that simple kind of elevated look to it. It's a very simple burger. Biting into it, again, those soft brioche buns. The first thing I'm getting is that caramelized onion, and I'm kind of cutting through into the crispy caramelized meat. Oh, so good. American cheese. You gotta have American cheese on a burger like this. You just have to, there's no option. The American cheese, and, the, and I'm talking about the good stuff. I'm not, I'm not talking about the stuff that's individually wrapped in plastic. You want to look for the deli slices where, you know, because that's actually American cheese where the stuff in the plastic is cheese product. They're different, believe me. The sauce, I'm going to steal the whole idea with the big chunks of pickle. I like that. And that the Philippe original mustard, the hot mustard, it made it. Um, I'm getting that horseradish smell, which which I love. That you know, really raw pepper or a raw mustard flavor that just sort of burns just a little bit, just enough. Then everything else in there kind of cuts it. it. It's just a really it, it is. It's a good burger. I don't know if it's my best, <laughs> but it's a good burger. It's a really good burger. Um, Again, of his burgers, of burgers he's calling his best, this would be my favorite. I'll probably give the, his last one, which has kind of had this, I believe, a breakfast kind of a spin on it. I'll give it a try. And I know it'll taste good, but this, I think, as far as Americana, this is my pick. And it's good. Congrats, Sam. Good job. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep those suggestions coming in. They're feeding this channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell. And if you like the video, thumb it up. And I really hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Um, what people ask. This is actually, a, it's a stone IPA that they, they made this for Halloween. And it's, it's good. Cheers.